Hello everyone, it's Pastor Denise Adams. Wow, the spirit of prophecy has hit me today, this morning. I am overwhelmed by the presence of God. God, we just invite you online today to be a part of what's going on here in our lives in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. God bless you, Wesley. It's so awesome to see you online and Max. But the spirit of prophecy is... Um, I just had a conference call with a wonderful woman of God, but the spirit of prophecy hit me as a, the, we serve a God of wonders. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, he is a God of wonders. And, you know, over the years, God has shown up in so many ways in my life in wonders, in wonders. And God says, I am I am your God of wonder, and I'm going to show up. In your life and even for Canada right now um, oh I feel so strong that he is a God of wonders and he's showing up he's showing up as our God of wonders in our life for our nation and I was as I was prophesying to this woman of God what God was doing I just want to bring some of those points to you to share with you I felt that it wasn't just like between the two of us, it was for the nation of Canada that God is going to show up in miracles, signs, and wonders. And mostly importantly, signs and wonders uh, that are, are you're going to be seeing across the nation in pockets. He says, I will, I will to show you my wonders. I will to show you my glory. I will to show up in my awe, I will to show up for those who are hungry and are thirsty for me, who are looking for me, not looking for religion, not looking for tradition, not looking for those things, but looking for me, who want me, who believe in me, who are leaning on me, who trust me, I will, I will show up. I will show my signs and wonders and I will, I will be your God. I will be who I said I will be. As you saw me in, um, uh, as, uh, the Red Sea parted and you, I was a pillar of uh, smoke by day and a fire by night. I will show up as I stop the sun. I will show up. I will be showing myself in signs and in wonders. I am your God, and I will. I choose to. I have made the decision to come and to show up big time in in Canada, but in those who are hungry and who are thirsting for me. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is a very strong word, and I don't put these out there often, but when I do, I know. I, I was hearing music prior to, um, and I recognized it was the Lord, and it was loud and it was um, um, audible sound of like a warning of I want to say something and God is really, really speaking uh, right now. You know, he has shown up in my life in signs and wonders. He has shown up uh, at services and I was there just to pray and I watched them as they were practicing worship and a cloud of glory covered their head and the fear of God and the reverence of God filled the room and I was like in awe of what God was doing. It was a wonder. I've never seen that. I took my glasses off and cleaned them and put them back on again and looked and there he was in a cloud of glory and there was other times when uh, um, time stood still when a prophet came and uh, he, the Lord told me about it that Saturday afternoon. Uh, the prophet said, prepare your heart for Saturday night. And uh, we did. We prepared our heart. I did. And as I was preparing my heart, God, I was reading the scripture where the sun stood still. And he says, would you like me to do that? And I went, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. And that night during service, the preacher preached, and he preached probably over two and a half hours, probably closer to three. But it was, because he's, he's an awesome man of God, it was awesome teaching. And what happened was, oh my goodness, time like stood still for a couple of hours. It was like the time that was supposed to take all this time only took an hour, only took, and, and everyone noticed, everyone noticed. 
God's going to be showing up in our nation, in your, in your meeting, in your life as a sign and a wonder. I've seen signs and wonders my whole life. My whole life, God has been showing up. And I believe for those who are hungry and those who are thirsty, not for a movement, not for a sign or a wonder, but are hungry for him, are thirsting after Jesus or looking to Jesus, God is going to show up big time. I know it. I know it in every fiber of my being. And those of you who want to receive that word, amen. And it's not for a sign. It's not for a wonder. It's for you to know that he is God and he's heard your prayers. He's heard your cries. He knows what you've been praying. He knows what you've been standing for. And he trusts you and believes in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you know, the, the, see, he goes... He goes to the hungry ones and the thirsty ones, those who are searching for him, those who are leaning into him, those who love him. But his word is, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will do it. I love you and I will do it. Hallelujah. Can you believe that? Praise God. I'm excited for what God is doing. I'm excited for what God is doing. I praise God for what he is doing. And if you will receive that, I believe this prophecy is specifically um, for Canadians who've been hungering and thirsting for his presence. Praise God. But I also believe it's for those in other nations who are saying, this is provoking me to get hungry. This is provoking me to be moved by the spirit of the living God. This is provoking me that I want everything that God has for me. You know, he is our sign. He is our wonder. It's a little bit of background noise, but don't worry about that. He is our sign and he is our wonder. And he will do what he said he will do. He will do what he said he will do. I have seen miracles. I have seen signs. I have seen wonders my whole life. And I praise God. And it's not like, oh, look at me. It's because if you're hungry, I remember... I remember, let me tell you a story, and I just shared this one. I haven't shared this one often. I remember picking up a book by John G. Lake years ago. Oh, 19, maybe 20 years ago. I picked up this book. I just got it. I got home, and I sat on my comfy chair, and I opened it up, and I started to read. And what happened is the power of God started to shake through me, and my hands were shaking. My whole body was vibrating with the presence of God. I thought, this is strange. I've never experienced this before. And what I did is I, I put down the book and it would stop. I thought, this is strange. I pick up the book again and start reading. And I start to vibrate with the power of God. And I didn't know it was the power of God. I just started to, to go like this. And I didn't know what was happening. But it was the power of God coursing through me. Hallelujah. God was showing up in my life. And I'm believing for God to show up in your life. If you're hungry and you're thirsty for him. Hallelujah. I believe it. I believe it with all my heart. I've seen him show up. I've seen him turn me upside down. Transform my life. Turn me into another woman. I thought it was, you know, you, you think you're on fire for God. You think you're in love with Jesus. You think you, and then he shows up. And everything changes. That which you thought you were gets transformed into greater dimension of love and of fellowship and relationship. It's an eyeball to eyeball relationship that God wants with you, with each and every one of us. But he's showing up. He's showing up in signs and he's showing up in wonders. He is the God of wonders. He is bigger than the box you have put him in. He's bigger than the box I've put him in. He's always, always doing something new. And I believe that the living God is showing up big time. Hallelujah for your life. Many blessings. Hallelujah. It's, it's huge. This is one of those Kairos moments in time that I know that I know that I know that God is showing up big time. It's, he's looking for the ones on fire. He's looking for those who are lit with his glory, who choose him, who are running after him, who have abandoned everything to follow him, who've desired to be close to him, to be like John and put their put their head on his chest and lean into him. God, 
are, is looking for you. I believe I found them online. I believe this word is for you. I believe that God wants to touch you. I'm, I'm not ready to do a pop-up video. I'm not. Hallelujah. Amen. But God, God is ready to do a pop-up video. God is ready to pop up in your life. God is ready to show up in your life. You grab a hold of this. You say yes in your heart to this. You say, yes, I'm going to run after God and get out and do something and be there with God. He is going to show up big time. He is showing up big time. Hallelujah. Amen. This is powerful. This is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit says, I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out in Canada, but I'm breaking out in your life. If you're online, he's coming to you. If you're saying yes to this, if you're saying yes to the power of God, if you're saying yes to the glory of God, if you're saying yes to the ability of God, if you're saying yes to the wonders of God of wonders, hallelujah. In Acts, in Acts, when the Holy Ghost came in power, what did Peter say? I'm going to read the word to you. God is here right now. God is in this place right now. God is here right now. He's in this place. He's talking. Hallelujah. God is in this place right now. Hallelujah. Well, I'm in Psalm 2, but I'm not going to go there. That's, that's for another day. Okay. Acts chapter 2. Let's go there. Hallelujah. I was just there and I was reading the, this word. You know, they were saying, are these guys drunk? What's going on? What's happening with these guys? They were speaking in tongues. The Holy came, Holy Ghost came as a mighty rushing wind. He came, hallelujah, with all his power. Well, Peter said, well, these aren't drunk as you suppose, seeing that it's but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it came to pass, and it shall come to pass rather, in the last day, says God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, hallelujah, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out my spirit, I pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show signs in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the lord to come and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved shall be saved shall be saved shall be saved get ready get ready get ready this is the time this is the season god is talking right now the Lord is speaking right now. I don't normally say, I usually say, I perceive this is what the Lord is saying. I really know that God is saying he's going to move and he's moving in miracles, signs and wonders because he loves you, because he is your God, because he believes in you, because it is his will. He says, I will to do this. It's my decision to do this. I want to do this. This is who I am and I will and I will and I will show up big time. I don't know what those problems prophecies have been over your life. I don't know what God has said over your life, but God is saying, I will, I will, I will. That which he has prophesied in your life in the past, he is doing in the name of Jesus Christ. He is doing his will in your life. Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. You can have a great expectation of God doing what he said he would do. Hallelujah. Don't worry about distractions. Don't worry about things uh, of this world. Just I, I encourage you to seek the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Seek him with every ounce and fiber of your being. Seek him and allow his glory to be seen upon you. Allow his life to be seen upon you. Allow his ability to shine in you and through you. He will turn you upside down and turn you into another man. He will take your life and he will flip it over for his glory. You will be, uh, you will turn the world upside down for the glory of God. He will take you and he will flip you. What you thought you got, what you thought was a healing you got, what you thought was a move of the spirit, but you got a transformation. Get ready, get ready, get ready. It's time for your transformation. It's time for the move of the spirit. It's time for what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. It is time, it is time, it is time. Hallelujah. I praise God. I praise God for each and every one of you. Many of you have put prayers up and said hello. I bless you today and I say hello 
Forgive me, it's a spirit of prophecy, and I just wanted to go with the flow of the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is moving. Glory to God. Just going to look at the videos here. Uh, I see so many people online are the names here, not the videos. Praise God. And I see you all online. I love you dearly. Thank you for joining me today. But God is on the move. God is on the move. Oftentimes, you know, I, I love to say hello and talk, but this is God talking. This is his word for us. It's his word for us, for our nation, for Canada. Praise God. Praise God. You know, for a season I had lost the scarf. The scarf was missing. This is a beautiful scarf that I got in Victoria. And I got this scarf when I went to pray in the Canadian and the British Columbia Parliament buildings for all the leaders there. I went in to just go in. I didn't have like a private session or anything like that. I just was showing up to the Parliament. God told me to go over to the Vancouver Island to Victoria to do this. And the scarf was missing. The scarf went missing. I bought it there. It's a beautiful scarf and it represents Canada. It represents the nation. It represents the blood of Jesus. It represents the life of God. Hallelujah. And I kept prophesying that the scarf is found. That scarf is found. This scarf is found. I thank you, Lord. And I kept pulling it back while it got found. Hallelujah. It got found. I didn't. I, I lost it and I didn't know where I lost it. I didn't know if I left it somewhere because it's silk. It, it might have flown, it slid off and I lost it in a meeting or something like that. I wasn't sure where it was, but I knew that it had to be somewhere and that it would come back. Hallelujah. And a relative found it for me. It was just a blessing, a blessing. And it was awesome. But those things that you have lost, those things that you have lost, are coming back to you now in Jesus' name. Those things that have gathered dust, have been hidden, have been out of you, and the enemy has done this. God is saying, I'm bringing them back to you. I'm bringing them back to you, whether they be dreams, whether they be prophecies, whether whatever it is, God is showing up big time for you because you are his beloved. You matter to the Lord. Your life matters to the Lord. You know, every one of my coaching uh, people I coach I coach people from around the world who are in ministry and um, every one of you every son and daughter that are, are connected to me I'm speaking over your life right now prophecies are coming forth they're manifesting the power of God is manifesting this is for you and I'm going to tag a few people uh, maybe later send it privately because I like to keep things more on a privately level. Usually you don't see me out here prophesying because I, I do that quietly, privately. But this is for, this is for you. This is for you. This is for you because God is going to do what he said he would do. Get ready for that expectation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, listen, I'm going to head off now. I want to thank you for spending time. I wasn't expecting to do this pop-up. I'm clearly not ready for it, but you know, um, meaning um, usually I have everything together for these meetings, but this is a word of prophecy over over not only your life, but over Canada. And there will be pockets. There will be pockets of people who are on fire for Jesus in this nation. And those who hunger and thirst for him will receive it. You will receive it, you will get it, you will receive it. And his glory will be seen on you, and his light will shine on you. And you will be a tree of righteousness. Hallelujah. You are his tree of righteousness, and he will make you shine for his glory. And you will be beautiful, and you will be glorious. Hallelujah. Because God loves you, and he believes in you, and he has a plan for your life. A good plan plan of hope. So get your hope and dust it off. God is coming in a big way to your life. Amen. Hallelujah. To your life. To your church. Get hungry. Get thirsty. God's showing up big time. Hallelujah. That's a prerequisite. You choosing to be hungry and thirsty. And God says, I will. I will show up. I got my pointy finger out. This is my grandma pointy finger. When they comes out, I'm talking to you.
It comes out every now and again. I love you dearly. Thank you for joining me today. Please share this message. This is for people who are hungry and thirsty for God. And if you're hungry and thirsty for God, this is for you. So share, 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 please. Hallelujah. God needs you to do that. I love you dearly. We will talk soon. God bless.